significant aperitif in the Flogas novice chase won last year by Outlander. €85,000 in total prize money, two miles, five furlongs and 60 yards. And we have six runners for you, headed by number one at Twaffville. Jack Kennedy will do the steering. David Mullins rides number two, Balco de Flo. Three is your favourite, even money favourite, the King's Theatre Gelding, Bells Hill for Ruby Walsh and Willie Mullins. Four, Bloody Rouge, Barry Garrity. Number five is Disco, Sean Flanagan. And six, our Duke, Jessica Harrington trains and Robbie Powell rides. Confidence from Bells Hill. Yeah, there is. I mean, it's a race where, let's be honest, something has to give. Bells Hill and our Duke unbeaten over fences, so both of them formidable opponents. However, Bells Hill seems to be the one where, for punters who perhaps have maybe got their fingers burnt with Bapaum and certainly Saturnus, just their favourites who've been turned over. Confidence behind Bells Hill, who, as you look over your left shoulder, Brian, evens an 11 to 10 only here in the ring. Al Duke just solid at 3 to 1 and 100 to 30. I think the interesting one, arguably, on the strength of that very, very good performance from Al Duke at Christmas time, is Disco, who was only a length behind. So 8 to 1 into 7 to 1 Disco. And then Bleu Rouge, for whom, if the jumping holds up, could be interesting as well, showing currently around about 7-1. to one. But rock solid, this favourite, is Bells Hill. But of course, uh, this horse, uh, Bells Hill, bidding to emulate the likes of Cool Dine, who won this en route to the RSA at the okay. Cheltenham Festival. That was in 2009, my colleague tells me. One horse who will not be going to the Cheltenham Festival, not until 2018. He's the horse trained by Jessica Harrington. Our Duke, he's smart, Tracy. Any words of encouragement from Mrs Harrington? Yes, he's certainly smart, all right, uh, Brian. Just watching him cantering down to the start. I have Kate Harrington beside me. And, uh, Kate, you've got a big day today because you've got our Duke in this and then, of course, Sizing John in the Gold Cup as well as a bumper. But our, our Duke, he, he won really well here last time, albeit made quite a few mistakes. A little bit shorter today. Yeah, um, back down to two and a half, and, um, but he's come out of Christmas really, really well and we're hoping for a really good run. We've, he's had a good bit of schooling at home and we're really hopeful. And the ground, the way it's turned up, it should really suit him, shouldn't it? Yeah, any more rain we have, the better. And Sizing John, a really exciting horse, a lot of, on a lot of short lists for this Gold Cup here today. Of course, it's a, it's a big ask, but he's well. Yeah, he's very well. He's also come out of third list very well, and he's stepping up um, to three miles today for the first time, and we're very hopeful he, we couldn't have him here any better. He's a really lovely chasing type too, isn't he? Yeah, no, he's fabulous. He's, um, so hopefully today will be his... We'll see how he goes later, anyway. And you're already, of course, riding the bumper someday. What, what are his chances like today? Yeah, we haven't seen him since Punchdown Festival last year, um, where he finished uh, second to Sirius Emerus of um, Willie's. And um, he's just taken a bit of time to come to himself this year. But we're hoping for a big spring campaign with him, if he can do the business today. Very best of luck. Hope it's a great day for you. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. Uh, best of luck to okay. Kate and to our Duke. Here is... Um, Atwa Phil. Yeah, number one at Toy Phil. Um, he got up in the in the dying strides here, the last in handicap. Big step up now. Um, you know he'll have to he'll, he'll have to re reel on his game to to win this now. It's, it's a good race. Number two, Valco de Floss. Um, a bit disappointed with him the last day against Annabel Fly. Um, I think to step back to two mile five will help him. Um, he's not without his chance. What about Bell's Hill, Ted? Yeah, sure, Bells Hill looks the farm horse of the race. He won nicely when he won at Gordon, and then he was very impressive when he won at Le Leperstown at uh, Christmas. Uh, he's got to come now into a better race here and establish himself. He beat his stable companion, Haymount, at Limerick and beat him nicely. Uh, I was very impressed watching him, but it's a bigger task here now. Bleu Rouge is dead interesting. I mean, to me, he looks like an absolute scatterbrain over a fence, and this is uh, over... A, a longer trip, two and a half miles, and that just might settle him. I'll be really interested to see how he goes, and I say best of luck to Barry. Number five, Disco, um, he ran a cracker here at Christmas time just behind our Duke. Um, again, I think to step back to two mile five will help him, and um, he won't be far away. And our Duke, we just heard uh, Kate Harrington talk to Tracy about him. He's got a real stamp of the chaser. He's a good big horse. He jumps a fence well by Oscar. Uh, he's gutsy. I thought he was beat for a long ways in the race here at Christmas, but he put his head down and galloped to the line, and uh, he'll make sure that whatever beats him, he'll have to earn it. Uh, the two main protagonists, our Duke on the left of our picture, Bells Hill on the right, and uh, they're both two for two. Both of them have won both their starts over fences, and uh, who's going to give? Really interesting.
We can have a look at the uh, look at both of their wins. We can start off by looking at Bells Hill. Now he won the the Shannon Novice Chase, a Grade Two at Limerick uh, on Stephen's Day. That was on heavy ground. Wins it well. He won it well. Um, I, I, horse with plenty of gears, I think, and um, you know he's impressive here. He looks to jump well. Um, he stays as well, but I'd imagine um, Ruby will definitely follow all the way to, to the last day because he's a horse I think has plenty of gears. Runs on really well. At, uh, Limerick on Stevens Day. Ted, our Duke, I thought he had a really hard race last time out. It was over three miles and it was a fabulous performance to beat Coney Island and Disco, but he certainly would have known he was in a race. Yeah, but it's five or six weeks ago and Jesse's not going to Cheltenham. Jesse will have him well wound up. It's a great one here today. He was gutsy every step of the way. I thought Coney Island might win, jump in the second last. Then I thought Disco might hear. But Robbie Power gets a great pop out of this horse at the last and he cuts his head down to him. He gets into that running rail. He rallies up the straight there. As I said to you, you only have this horse beat when you haven't beat because he's as tough as nails. Coney Island won a cracker there for a five-year-old. Impressed with him when he won the Drinmore at Ferrius. And Disco has run a real good race as well. But this fella just got his old head down at it and battled away. Now it was three miles, uh, two mile and five. <clears throat> he's coming back a bit in trip. He's coming back and I, I, I was up to him today. He won his beginner's chase and, you know, he was that day in Navin. He was, he was off the bridle down the back straight that time and uh, he'll want every yard of this. <coughs> Paddy Graffin about to uh, release them. Tony O'Hare, all yours. And uh, our Duke sets off in front as they head towards the first fence. Disco is the grey. Dells Hill in the black and beige towards the left. Then Balco de Flo. And they're followed by the Represent Chase winner at Trois and Blue Bay Rouge as they round the turn. Taking them down towards the First of the open ditches, and our Duke and Robbie Parr in front by a length to uh, Disco in second. And behind Sean Flanagan's mount comes Balco de Flo and then Bells Hill. A trough fill next on the outside of Blue A Rouge as they swing out of the back straight and come down towards fence number three. Our Duke, grade one winner here at Christmas in the lead, being followed in second by. Disco and they're followed by Balco de Flo and then comes Bells Hill. A trois fill is wide of him and Bleu et Rouge. So they swing into the straight and make their way up towards fence number four. Disco, the grey in the lead from Arduke in second. They're followed by Balco de Flo on the inside, followed by Bells Hill, the favourite, and on his outside a trois fill and Bleu et Rouge. Made an early exit here in the Arkle last month. He's at the back as they take the fence before the stands. Disco the leader from our Duke. They're followed by Balco de Flo and Bells Hill. As they come up in front of the stands with the full circuit ahead of them. Disco by about four to uh, our Duke in second. Two lengths away is Balco de Flo, who is just over two in front of Bells Hill. And then comes Bleu et Rouge and finally at Trois Phil. Heading up now towards the two fences, taking them away from the stands, and Disco in front from our Duke. Balco de Flo is in third spot under David Mullins. Then Ruby Walsh on Bells Hill, Louis Rouge and Barry Garrity, and alongside is a Trois Phil and Jack Kennedy as they come up towards the next plane fence, and Disco the leader from our Duke in second. Balco de Flo is in third place. Uh, leader a bit untidy there as they go on towards the next one. Disco the leader from in second place our Duke in Balco de Flo, then Bells Hill and a Trois Phil and Blue A Rouge. Disco the leader, our Duke second, Balco de Flo, then Bells Hill and a Trois Phil and uh, Blue A Rouge bringing up the rear as they swing left handed towards the back straight. Six fences ahead of them on the far side and Disco in front from. Our Duke in second, they're followed in third spot by Balco de Flo. As they close in on the first fence on the far side of the track. Disco by three lengths to our Duke, who's two and a half up on Balco de Flo, who's about the same distance ahead of Bells Hill. As they take that one, Disco from our Duke, Balco de Flo and Blue Air Rouge makes another mistake. His jumping hasn't been good on his uh, previous starts over fences and a couple of minor errors before that. Quite bad one there as they race towards the next fence, which will be seven from home. And Disco, Sean Flanagan with a three-length lead over our Duke and Robbie Parr. Balco de Flo is third, Bells Hill is fourth, and then a Trois Phil and Blue Air Rouge. You see, cleared that one. 
and race on towards the second of the ditches. Six fences from home in the Flow Gas Novice Chase and Disco from Our Duke. Then Balco de Flow towards the left. We have Pell's Hill and wider still is the Trois Phil. And they're followed by Blue Air Rouge as they clear that fence and race on towards the next, which will be five out. And it's Disco from Our Duke in second. Balco de Flo, Bells Hill is in fourth place. Disco from Our Duke, Balco de Flo, Bells Hill, a trois fill and Blue Air Rouge. As they race towards the fourth last now, Disco continues to lead from Our Duke in second. Balco de Flo on the right of the picture, Bells Hill on the left, a trois fill and Blue Air Rouge, the last two. At this one, Desco, Our Duke, close in second, Balco de Flo, Bells Hill is next, then a trois fill and Blue Air Rouge as they race towards the final open ditch, the third last fence in this uh, grade one novice chase. And Disco from Our Duke, a close second, a gap to the Balco de Flo in third, and then comes Bells Hill as they rise to it. Disco, Our Duke, Balco de Flo, Bells Hill is next. Disco increases lead there to three lengths, Our Duke's in second, then five lengths or so to. Balco de Flo, Bells Hill is uh, making a bit of ground behind them, but down to the second last, it's Disco the leader. Disco from Our Duke, and they're followed back in third by Balco de Flo. Bells Hill is uh, <coughs> struggling in fourth. Louis Rouge and a trois fill <coughs> as they round the turn. One to jump, and Disco and Sean Flanagan in the lead from Our Duke in second. Robbie Power, a gap to Balco de Flo. Bells Hill <coughs> under pressure in fourth, and then Louis Rouge. As they come to the final fence, Disco with our Duke trying hard to close the gap. Balco de Flo back in third. As they come to the final fence now, it's Disco the leader over from our Duke in second. Balco de Flo's in third as they race down. And Bells Hill was down at the last. As they race into the closing, it's Disco out in front for Noel Mead in Jiggenstown. Sean Flanagan guides the grade to victory in the flow gas. It's Disco. Our Duke stays on well for second. Balco de Flo in third on a long way clear of Blue Rouge and a trois fill. Bells Hill coming down when uh, beaten at the last. Ruby Walsh is up. The horse is yet to rise. But Disco is the winner. Yeah, this horse jumped out when a good gallop he was. Um, Robbie Power went to make it and it wasn't going quick enough and Sean Flanagan decided he'd up the tempo, let his horse stride along and he had the others in trouble a long way out. Bells Hill was a big disappointment, so was Blue Air Rouge. Our Duke has lost very little in defeat, he keeps going well. He won over three at Christmas here. The other horse just too many gears for him and he jumped super. Great one for Noel Mead, another one for Jiggenstown and uh, he's done this nicely. Uh, jumped the last, great. Sean saw a good stride and asked him up for it, he came away well. Our Duke, to his credit, knuckled at the back of it, didn't help his cause, but the winner held him well. He got into lovely rhythm down the back, you know, he winged fences, um, you know, he had them on their head going to the second last, and to be fair, you know, I, I, the only, I'd like to weigh our Duke's day gallop to the line, you know, he, he, he's a horse that probably has a big future in it, over three wide. Yeah. Nice one, great one for Noel Mead. The favourite ran no race. Uh, he was well beat there. He, he's got up, he fell at the last. He looked very tired when he fell at the last. But horse and rider, okay, that's the main thing. And uh, great one for Sean. Lovely one for Sean. His first grade one, I think. So, is he yeah, first grade one, is so. it? Oh, well done, yeah. Sean. Great one. And a great one for Noel Mead. Big win there, Disco. This horse always, on a good day, he looks a good horse. Yeah, to I be saw fair. Him a few races. You rode him a few times, didn't I, I, you? I rode him in, um, I won a maiden hurdle on him and I rode him in Punchtown where he made a couple of mistakes. Um, Noel got his back done. But to be fair to Noel, he, he always said from day one that he held him in high regard and um, he's starting to prove him right now. Yeah, he was good today now. He jumped and travelled and that's a big one to win there, a grade one here at the Fogue Glass. It's always a race won by some very good horses. Well done to Sean Fanagan, well done to Noel Mead and big well done to Disco. That was the winner of uh, the Flow Gas Novice Steeplechase, Beats Our Duke and Balco de Floss. We've got a break to take. The big one comes up next. Welcome back. Happy scenes in the winner's enclosure. The flow gas novice steeplechase has gone to Disco. He's upset the apple cart. He has won, and uh, he's won in great style, beating our Duke and Balco de Flas. Now, a few moments ago, uh, Andy Mack uh, caught up with the winning trainer, Noel Mead. Noel, you must be absolutely delighted with Disco there. It was a great performance. Yeah, look, it's a great trail to have one to jump as well as that, and, you know, really never looked in problem. He was Every fence he was gaining ground, and seemed to be everything going really well, you know, it's lovely to sit and watch something like that. 
Must have been very confident from the back of the second last. Well, look, sure, you would never be confident in a grade one, and especially with the lads that were behind you, with Willie and Gordon and those boys. You don't get on, on Henry, you know, you never want to build your confidence up too much, but I was happy when he jumped the last, all right. And you reversed the form at our Duke. Do you think that was a setback in trip? Or? Yeah, I don't know. Like, look, there was only a half and a half between the three of them the last day. That's only one good jump, really, isn't it? You know yourself that it might be that. It might have been the trip. It might be that that trip seems to suit him well. I suppose that'll be the way we'll go with him, I'd imagine, anyway. We we'll talked to Eddie and, and Mike, and we'll see what they say, but I'd imagine that seems to be his trip anyway. And you had an amazing association through the years with Paul Carby, but things with Sean now are getting on very well the last couple of months. Yeah, no, he's he's slotted in very well. I'm very fond of Sean, and he's been a very good... He's got his confidence... He's always been a very good rider. And when you, when you have a good rider who then gets up on a little bit better horses, I'm not knocking any of the horses he was riding, but when you're on and, get, and give them a bit of confidence, uh, he's improved at every time. He's, he's just got better and better. Like his ride on, on, on the horse he had the last day in the handicap portal was probably... If, if, if AP or, or, or Barry or, or any of them had ridden it, everybody had been shouting about it. But it was an absolutely beautiful ride. Another one there. It was always better when the wind. Quite right, Liam. Before we let you go, the big one. Yeah, look, he still has plenty to find to come back and, and have a chance of winning. But I'm looking for a good run. Very good. Well done, no. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I just caught up with Sean Flanagan, delighted there, of course, after that winner and his first grade one. Many congratulations to you. He looked good there today. He really did. Yeah, he was, he was brilliant. He missed the one.